singing tonight. Good to see you folks with us. I'm Larry Sparks and all the fellas here with me are the Walter Rammers and these boys are feeling good and lonesome tonight, ain't you fellas? We try to try to keep them that way. Hope you all uh, like what we do for you. We'll try our very best to pick and sing and uh, do a lot of our record songs and hope you'll like what we do. If you don't, why well, we just just can't help that. <laughs> we thank you for coming out. We'll try to work hard for you. Have a lot of our record songs we'll be doing and some gospel singing, some instrumentals. I don't know what all we'll get into before the night is over, but it's glad to, we're glad to be with you. All right. Now we're going to move right along. I'm going to feature myself, fellas, right now before we go any farther. And this is a little guitar tune I've been doing for, it seems like about 60 or 70 years, but it's only been about 15. And uh, it's on one of my albums, and then it's on another album, and it's found its way on three or four for some, some reason. And uh, we'd like to play it for you. Carter's Blues. Thank you. 
walking to the lake of Dover. When the walking sign comes sitting down, or if you read wine and the drink it down, you came and sat beside me there with the dark brown eyes and a red red hair. Fiddle for the folks, and 
you usually got a fill or two ready when we need you to. And uh, what do you want to play? I tune from your lonesome guitar album. That's a fine record album, and this is a tune from it. Thank you. Appreciate it. It's called The Buffalo Gal. What a lonesome rambler and what a selection. Give David Harvey a nice hand, if you will. Works with me. When the sun was 
sink and low. And we listen to the water as it ripples soft and low. And since she's gone to heaven, I miss her most of all. Tonight, my darling, sleeping by the singing waterfall. That's a song from a tribute album Hank Williams did it a few years back, singing Waterfalls. I think we're going to have to get some of this stuff and spray on us before we go back up north, ain't we? Just want to be ready for the weather up there. We've been playing down in uh, Tampa last night, and of course uh, we're here tonight, and live and in color. Well, give us a crowd anywhere, we'll play to them. We don't care where it's at. We're going up to Marietta, Georgia tomorrow night for a festival up there with the radio station and over in uh, South Carolina Sunday and back, uh, back to Alaska on Monday. <laughs> Here's an instrumental I did back in the early 70s and we call it Kentucky Chimes and we like to play it for you. We haven't changed the title to it. We try to play it pretty much like we did back then because it was a good record for me all across the country. Those of you that uh, follow bluegrass music in general, or my music, you probably recognize this tune. I sold out that somewhere under a million copies for me, and uh, we'd like to play it for you. Somewhere under a million copies. Go back. <laughs> Virginia and Richmond's good hospitality. 
Except for one Virginia girl I know. That vain and perfect love race tells me. you want, we don't mind a bit. In fact, we'll try to bottle it up some way and take it back with us, won't we? Here's a gospel song. I feature quite a bit of gospel singing. And this is from my latest all-gospel album. And the album's called Wanna Be Moving, and it's been released a few months now, and we'd like to sing that song for you. Boys, you want to gather around? Gathered?
do one more gospel song, and uh, this is one of the older albums somewhere I've got out. It's called When My Time Comes to Go. Well, what shoes? You'll break them anyway. <laughs> well, I want a new set on by tomorrow night anyway, so it looks like I'm going to get my wish, huh? Maybe before tonight's over, I have a new set on. The fellas are going to team up and play you one. I don't know what it is, and uh, but uh, David, pick out one and sing one or pick one, huh? Well, we'll pick one right here. I've, I've got a little bit of laryngitis tonight, one of the Jitis boys. And I'll just pick one right here. All right, little Katie Hill. She's from down this part of the country, I've heard.
got another train to go. You got another one there, baby. <laughs> got another thing to play pretty close to that? Yeah, we'll, we'll do us another one right here, Larry. You know that tune right there reminds me of my good friend Harold Maud. You know, uh, I go over all the time, spend some time with them. They never kick me out or nothing. They really treat me good. Yeah, that's right. We was over there. I, I spent as much time over there. I helped them move the other day. And we helped. We was moving, you know, I helped move out the bed and there was a bushel basket underneath the bed had a two years of corn in it. Harold said, Mon, what's that two years of corn in that basket there? Mon said, well, Harold, I hate, I hate to tell you this, but every time I cheat on you, I put a ear of corn in that basket. Harold stamped around there and shook his head and said, well, Mon, two times in 25 years, we'll just forget about it. He's hurt, though, you know. He's a good guy, Harold is. Just forget about it. That's what he said. Well, we went on moving and moved up the chest of drawers and there was $10,000 underneath of it. Harold said, G.O. Said G.O. Just like that. G.O. Maude, where'd that $10,000 come from? So, uh, well, Harold, every time I got a bushel of corn, I sold it.
And remember, city women ain't the same. I'm like a John Deere tractor. Thank you very much. That's another song we figured out in the Hank Williams earlier. 
backwards a few years back. I like to do our show, especially for two ladies up in the front row. Good to see you all again, and it's been uh, been a while. Powder Springs, eh? Yeah. yeah. We're going to be back in Powder Springs in June. Yeah, we'll be there on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, Powder Springs Bluegrass Festival. Uh, I guess that festival really belongs to Tom Henderson, a good friend of mine down in Tampa. Uh, who we worked with last night. We'll be back down there this year, do it all over again, and I hope y'all make it down. Everybody make it down. Great. Hope you get to see me down there. <laughs> if y'all like what we do on the stage and want to take us home with you, we're like most everyone else. We have uh, albums with us and cassette tapes. We have uh, some of the later things, some of the older albums, and feel free to come by and take a look at them if you like to. Uh, the fellowship will have it set up somewhere in the building. I'm not sure, probably around the concession stand. They like to eat off good. <laughs> but they won't be hard to find, I guarantee you. And, uh, we have several albums and tapes with us, so if you'd like to take us home with you, by the way of an uh, album or whatever, we appreciate it very much. On the bass fiddle, he's been working with me about five years, ain't you? For years. He's been singing tenor with me this year, and he's doing a real good job, and he's getting better all the time. And, uh, of course, he's got a lot of room for improvement yet. But all the time he's been working with me, uh, he's le managed to sing, uh, learn one song that he sings all the way through by himself. And we're going to let him feature that for you tonight. You ready to do it? Yeah. All right. Are you all tuned up? Thank you, Picker, already. <laughs> Well, if you call her show at all restraints, she probably needs no introduction. <laughs> this is Steve Sparks on the bass. Give him a hand if you will. Uh, we'll play Lonesome Ride, okay. 
He's another three-year banjo player, three-year musician that's been with me, and uh, he's doing a fine job, I think. He's on some of my records already, and we've got him waxed and everything like that. I think you'll enjoy his banjo playing. I'm sure you have already, and he's from Kentucky. And his name is Barry Crabtree. Give him a hand. Here. tunes for you and then we're going to take a little intermission and uh, I like him don't you we're coming back to play another set for you and uh, we're glad you come out like I said earlier to be with us tonight from Xavier that made it and we're just uh, glad we get a chance to play and sing for you and be with Bob Cornett, Gene Cornett at uh, Spirit of the Swanee and we hope we can come back someday and play for you again but we ain't gone yet we've got a lot more music to play in <laughs> that big old party at the show last night, me and Harold and Ma. A great big old party, and old Harold, he's strutting around there, he's really something, has his old fancy duds on. 
He had some of those uh, yeah. khaki shorts, you know. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. He had some of them khaki shorts on and that, uh, I'm guess who shirts and flip flops. Boy, he was really sharp. All the ladies looking at him. Well, he's riding home in the car. And Maude said, uh, Harold, did I ever tell you how good looking you was? Harold said, no. And did I tell you how just attractive you are to all the ladies? He said, no. He said, well, what gave you that idea at the party then? <laughs> it fills the space pretty good. If it ain't funny, it still fills the gap. And I appreciate it. I think today was getting close into live vault. It was about, uh, oh, probably, I guess, late 64 or early 65 had it not been for a, a fellow here that lived at Live Oak that time uh, that you all know Mr. Carter Stanley and uh, he gave me a job picking the guitar he thought I could pick the guitar back then uh, for some reason and uh, he gave me a part-time job working with him and Ralph the Stanley brothers and uh, so had it not been for that I could have still been in music or could have been uh, doing something else I don't know but I'd like to sing you one of his numbers. And there is a trap that we are falling in. Falling, though we both know it to sin. We'll break the hearts of the old lovers. Please move away, you're getting too much to blow.
Start picking right now, a little mandolin picking for you. And uh, this goes back, Dave, for the moment, some guitar album. And uh, to pick you a tune that I learned uh, a long time ago, and I'm not sure who wrote this tune, but they called it Under, Under the Double Eagle, and it goes like this. Right. Yeah. 
trying to sue him. But would not keep his childish plea. She heard him call as she was leaving. The mother joined the man he made to Soon was lost in tribes of joy. The mellow tune, the burning shadow, made her forget her baby boy. She danced and laughed and did some drinking. The world She left the party feeling dizzy. Stella Crane was on her breath. She hurried home to find her baby in raging pain and near death. The doctor came and looked so sad. Thank you. That's from the Blue Sparks album. And Mommy, please stay home with me. I hope you like that. Uh, let's see now. What are some of the questions we had? A couple of three of them. Face the crowd. Okay. I'll just sing that for you. Dave usually introduces me, of course. It's about this time. Well, Dave, why don't you go ahead? All right. I'd sure like to say a few words about you right now, Larry. My pleasure, my Thank you extra tonight. All right, it's my pleasure and honor to introduce this young man to y'all. He's got 25 years in the bluegrass music business. That deserves applause right there. And it's, uh, <laughs> he's been cooking for y'all 25 years. Started his career with the Stanley Brothers way back in 1964 when he was two years old. <laughs> Formed his own band, Larry Sparks and the Lonesome Ramblers, in 1969. He's say something been, good about him. Since then, has become the most soulful guitar picker and singer in bluegrass music today. He's been voted the best male vocalist in bluegrass music. Let's like, make you feel real welcome. I said you've been voted the most soulful picker and singer in bluegrass, and you've also been voted the best male vocalist in bluegrass music today. Let's make you feel good. Mr. Larry Clark. A face in the crowd. Near Bridal Oak. No one seemed to notice. No one wondered why. When you went to look to me, there were tears in my eyes. The face in the crowd. With a pale yellow rose 
was only a friend. we like to do you. Can you turn my voice up just a little bit in the monitor? Okay. This is uh, also going to be included on our new album that will be released uh, what my record company said about the first or second week of March. And if you like to, if you're a collector of bluegrass music or maybe a collector of our music or want to be a collector of Larry Sparks and the Lonesome Ramblers, so we hope you'll watch for it. And uh, this will be another song that will be included in the new album on Rebel Records. And it's called Tennessee 1949.
Richmond's name of that's Richmond. Uh, that was wrote about that 1980 or 81. For anybody that wants to know. And uh, I lived in a town called Richmond, and I still do. And I couldn't think of any other title to call it, so that's what we call it. That'll be on the new album. Here's one that uh, I've been singing for a while. Such a fool to leave, leave her all alone. I'm rising in my soul, higher than the dreams I know. This tea I think clean to me, my smoky mouth and men are me. That old gray man with the gold is sleeping his feet, plays a worn out fiddle full of melody. Smiles with his eyes, the lines on his face. Such a fool to leave, leave her all alone. Think about her in my dreams. I wonder if she thinks of me. Always hold her close to me and I'm
Somebody asked me to sing some more gospel music. That's fine, David. Fine fiddle player. Fine fiddle picker. We'd like to do you. This is one of my earlier gospel songs. called Green Pastures in the Sky. It's on one of my albums and uh, and also it was on a live album one time in McClure, Virginia, at Ralph Stanley's Festival. I believe in uh, one of my earlier songs was like this.
Oh, yeah, coming right up there. I about forgot you over there. We've got time to do that before we quit. I want to sing another tune for you that um, I mentioned to you earlier about the late Carter Stanley. Uh, I was fortunate enough. He gave me a job picking the guitar for them. Uh, and when I was a, a young teenager, and this is one of the first songs that I had worked, uh, played with the Stanley Brothers on stage at the University of Chicago. And uh, Carter sung this song. I tried to play the guitar behind him. Of course, he, he thought good, and I didn't argue with him. But we have uh, somewhere of these, a few tapes of this uh, floating around the whole, I think, two shows. And hopefully someday he'll be put on an album with Carter and Ralph and uh, we'll picking the guitar with him. But this is a song that I put on our Blue Sparks album a couple years back. And, uh, but the song really goes back many years. I think it was wrote in uh, from the late 1800s. It's called The Old Plantation. Way down the old plantation. Master, you too long me as a slave. He had a gallant gown, name of me. This fellow here, a satisfied customer, and I want to just say, wonder where you are tonight. If you got another, some more cards and letters there, Dave, what's that? That's that red that, uh, Is that a, a, a done or what? Oh, 
See you walk in. Thank you for having us. We appreciate it. And uh, we'll play a couple more. You kick this off. Yeah. Shoe goes on the other foot tonight. <laughs> Thank you. 